like and share. Episode 22, Third Ecumenical Council at Ephesus Once upon a time, in the year 431 AD, an extraordinary gathering took place in the bustling city of Ephesus. This meeting, known as the Holy Council, was a momentous event that drew the participation of 200 bishops from various regions. It marked the third of its kind and held profound significance for Christians worldwide. The Holy Council was convened due to a profound disagreement over the teachings of Nestorius, the Archbishop of Constantinople. Nestorius presented unconventional ideas concerning the birth of Jesus. He asserted that Jesus, at the time of his birth, was solely a human being and not God himself. Nestorius believed that the Spirit of God later entered and dwelled within Jesus, resulting in Jesus possessing two distinct natures and wills. The assembled bishops at the Holy Council firmly disagreed with Nestorius' doctrines. Guided by their deep understanding of the Bible and the angelic pronouncement, they firmly believed that Mary, the Blessed Mother of Jesus, had given birth to the Son of God. They recalled the prophetic words of Isaiah, who had foretold that a virgin would bear a son named Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Among the wise men at the Holy Council was Saint Cyril, the 24th Pope of Alexandria. With his profound wisdom and deep understanding of theology, Saint Cyril endeavored to convey the truth to Nestorius. He explained the concept of inseparability, illustrating how two distinct entities, once united, cannot be separated. Just as when two colors of paint blend together to create a new hue, Saint Cyril emphasized that when God assumed human form in Jesus, he possessed a single, unified nature, rather than two separate ones. However, Nestorius remained obstinate and refused to alter his stance. He adamantly disagreed with Saint Cyril and the other bishops. Despite their warnings of the consequences, including potential excommunication, Nestorius clung to his divergent teachings, causing the bishops to take the regrettable step of excommunicating him and stripping him of his position as archbishop. During the momentous Holy Council, the bishops also made a profound and symbolic decision. They proclaimed that Mary, the revered mother of Jesus, should be bestowed with the title Theotokos, which translates to the Mother of God. This significant title encapsulated their unyielding belief that Mary had given birth to God himself in human form, underscoring the divine nature of Jesus. Additionally, the bishops codified a set of rules and laws known as canons to guide the faithful in their beliefs and practices. These canons have since served as a steadfast foundation for Christians, offering guidance and direction throughout the ages. As time passed, the teachings of Nestorius gradually diminished in prominence. His followers, known as Nestorians, gradually abandoned his divergent beliefs, embracing a deeper understanding of the true nature of Jesus. They came to acknowledge that Jesus is both fully God and fully human. Eventually, the Nestorians aligned themselves with other Christian communities in the East, relinquishing Nestorius' teachings. Thus, the Holy Council stands as an indelible testament to the wisdom and devotion of the assembled bishops who gathered to protect and preserve the truth about Jesus. Through their collective efforts, they reaffirmed the belief that Jesus is the Son of God, born of the Virgin Mary, possessing a singular nature that encompasses both his divinity and humanity. Their unwavering commitment to upholding these profound truths continues to resonate within the hearts and minds of believers to this very day. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.